Hi guys, this is me, Maniko. Anyways, I saw the video Trisha Paytas did, and like, I was like, pretty much like five minutes in, and it got deleted. And I was like, oh, because I usually watch my videos while I'm at work because, you know, I'm on third shift and nothing's really happening. Uh, usually, first and second get everything, and we just kind of like, you know, just here, just babysitting a building pretty much, you know? But, um,. I was just really experienced her video. I feel for her because I, you know, try to make relationships work to where, you know, the guy's not really into it, but he's just there because I'm a nice person or whatever. Or, you know, he's just there because, you know, he wants to use my car or whatever. And, like, they always say, like, love is blind and you don't really know what you're getting yourself into until you get out of it. And you're like, oh, I'm dumb, I'm stupid, you know, whatever. But, uh, um, it's just, sad that she gets to these type of situations and then always gets up alone and crying on the floor or the couch or whatever and I just think this time you know she, it, like the whole thing happened if you guys can't watch it or can't find it it's that um little TBLR um one of Jason's friends I think his name was like David was making these jokes and Trisha felt a certain way, and then um, David was trying to get, was trying to coach Jason into doing a whole threesome with him, Trisha, and Tana. And Trisha got super offended, cause like you know Trisha, I mean I think she has self, I think she has really good self confidence in certain ways, but like instead of like these certain things to where you know, um, uh, how do you say it? Um, How do I say that in a very polite way? Like, she's very insecure in relationships and she devotes all her time into them and all her energy into them. She wants to make it work to be, you know, like fulfill her dreams of like getting married and, you know, yada yada. And um, it's just, she tries very hard, but she was used to guys to kind of like treat her like crap or take advantage of her or try to like do all kinds of things. And this type of relationship, you know, I really wasn't a, approved, didn't get messed up and approve on it because, or approval on it because I was like, this is kind of weird. Like she's like so heads over heel with Jason and Jason just kind of like seems like he's just there, you know? And that's what she was like saying like that she, you know, just, feels like he's just there, that he's not really like devoted to the relationship and people in the comments were saying the same thing and she always warned in the back of her that he was, if he was just there just for storyline, for plot, just for to be a face in the video, you know, and I really hope she does not get back together with him. I hope she takes some time for herself, but is this, is her video a whole plot, a ploy to make the views on all their channels go up, you know. Um, so it's just it's just so hard because like, even though you watch them like for years, you don't really know their true intentions or anything, you know. And the whole issue with the whole Trump situation, like, can you take that consideration for views or for what, you know? You don't really know. So. It's just hard to really get my opinion on it when I'm not sure if this is like an actual solid thing or a solid solution to everything. I can only just give my opinion on it and if it is a real thing, then okay, but if this is like an extra or an employee, then I'm going to be really mad and really upset about it. But I just hope that she takes time for herself, really. And I do think people who, you know, don't feel comfortable around certain things should have the right to say no, you know, no matter if it's a joke, no matter if it's like, they don't see like it's a joke, or they don't really see like it as a big deal, they just say it's a joke, um, you know, I don't try to say she's like really sensitive, but like she has every right to say she doesn't feel comfortable in that, especially like the whole, you know, three something, like, if somebody were to tell me that, I'd be like, who are you to tell me 
about that, especially like about my relationship, you know, like mind your own business, you know. Um, it's just crazy and ridiculous how things are and then the way your relationship is like a whole completely different thing to where you kind of think this may be my husband or this may be my wife, you know. I'm like going to stick with you regardless of what happens, but there are things that break the camel's back, and this was one of them. So hopefully she takes time out for herself. Hopefully she really gets to know herself and love herself and everything like that. I just wish, you know, I know she loves Jason and thinks the world of him, but is it really worth the pain to really be like that, you know? Is it really worth to like sacrifice so much just for one person who you just kind of like, who is just kind of like, eh, you know, towards you? And you can't just have, eh, if you're going to play 100% and he's only playing like 10, 20%, do you really want 20% of love or do you want 100% of his love? You just got to think of it like that. And it's very hard to really, you know, say that and you obsess over this guy, you love this guy, you want to be with this guy. Like, that's how I felt with my ex. Like, I thought the world of him, you know, I thought we were going to get married and have lots of babies. And I still think like that, you know, even though how many times we have got into it or he hurt me or he's left me in very bad situations. Like, I'm so somewhat in love with him, but I kind of built up this wall to where I'm just kind of like, well, he hurt me multiple times in the past. Do I really want to go through it again? You know? So I, I do relate this, like how she feels on the personal level, but I never had anybody who were like, it's like a third party into my relationship to where they were like mostly trying to control how things go and that's what I don't like. I don't like people that. That's just kind of pointless and, and not really cool. But I wish the best for her and hopefully it all comes out right. Because usually people take my words and twist them into their own opinion, which sucks, you know. But what can I do? I'm just one person, and plus I'm on working. I'm working, and my money's on other stuff as well. So yeah, make sure you guys like, share, and share the video, so that way, um, you guys, I we can grow and be awesome. If you guys have any kind of opinions on the topic of the video hand, leave me know in the comments down below. Um, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.